Hi boys and girls, today is Tuesday. For math, we're doing 123. All right, you need your ruler on the centimeter side. Remember the centimeters are close together and today we're doing a six centimeter line segment. Boys and girls, I want you to practice having your straight line. If it's not straight, erase it and redo it. All right, go ahead and do your six centimeter line. And write your last name. Go ahead and write left and right. And you can mark I3. Today's date is April, nice handwriting, it's April 21st, leave a space before you write 21, comma, leave a space and write 2020. Okay, boys and girls, your whole date should fit on the line if you use nice handwriting. Everything should be resting on the baseline and just my comma and my P are in the basement. You should have a, a space in between the different parts of the date. All right, today is Tuesday. And we have two markings for that word. We have a two over the S, because it's making its second sound. And of course we have A May. All right, go ahead and do 11 tally marks. Pause the video until you've done this and caught up on all this, and then unpause to check your answers. All right, help me count. One, two, three, four, five. Space. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Space, eleven. Okay, your tally marks should fit inside the box. All right, we are practicing for handwriting today. One hundred and eleven. Okay, don't get all sloppy just because this seems super easy. Make sure they're nice straight ones, top line to baseline. Go ahead and practice. <clears throat> Whisper one hundred and eleven as you write. See if you can do even better handwriting than I'm doing. Wow, that's a lot of ones we wrote. All right. Use your three song to figure out how many digits are on the line. Go ahead and write even or odd. Pause the video till this done is done and then check back with me. Okay, help me sing the three song. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Oh, we got to 18 today. Let's sing that again. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. All right, let's write 18. And oh, we've got some red markings for that. You might be noticing A4, E-I-G-H says A4, and E-W-E always says E. And you should have said that this is odd. Make sure the circle and the O and the Ds are all starting at two o'clock and the circles are the same size. All right, get out those spy tools. I spy 111, okay. Oh, in problem two, I spy the word four. We can put a two over the O-U. Let's practice that phonogram. That's our phonogram of the week, ready? Ow, oh, ooh, uh. So if you, you pretend a B sign, you say ow, you look at it, oh. 
You go, ooh, wipe it off, uh. All right, so it's saying O, oh, so O oh, or. All right, let's go ahead and mark the other four in the picture. Okay, let's see. Ooh, oh, I see the word two down in problem three. All right, hopefully I'm not missing any. That's all I see today. Oh, nope, there's one more. The word two in problem two. Did you guys find it before me? All right, let's take a look at problem two. While she was away, Shannon wrote four letters to her parents. All right, let's just do the letter L for letters. So four letters to her parents. All right, then she wrote four to her Aunt Debbie. Think about whether this is some, some more, or some, someone away. Yeah, it's some, some more. So let's draw a line and let's do four more for her Aunt Debbie. All right, but we're not done. She also wrote two letters to her brother, Billy. So we need to add two more. So draw your line and draw two more. So this is a problem where we have three add-ins. We've been practicing three add-ins down at the bottom of our paper most days. Now we're doing three add-ins, three numbers we're adding in together in our word problem. All right, so see if you can come up with your addition sentence. I want you to pause it and give it a try and then come back and check your answer. Okay, so he wrote four, then he wrote plus four more, then plus two more. All right, you might be noticing a doubles. Four plus four equals eight. That's great. And you can just take your pencil and write below. You can still do this if you'd like. Eight and two more. Oh, that's a friend who makes 10. Eight is friend to two. This is true. So all together, he wrote 10 letters. Let's write the word 10. Nice handwriting. And with our best handwriting, let's practice the number 10 again on the line. All right. The children in Mrs. Matthews' class made this graph about their favorite ice cream, vanilla chocolate. Hmm, which one would you pick? All right, you need to come up with two sentences about things you know about this class. All right, before we write our sentences, let's do some things on our graph. Get out your red pencil. Let's find out how many more chose vanilla than chocolate. All right, draw your line where they stop being equal. Two more chose vanilla than chocolate. How many chose vanilla? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many chose chocolate? 10. All right, so go ahead and think of two sentences you can write describing that graph. Don't forget a capital letter, spacing, and a period. After you're done, go have mom or dad read your sentences and help you correct it. All right, then come back, check the video, and I'll give you some ideas of what you might have written, and then we'll finish the bottom. All right, so some things you could have written. You could have said more kids chose vanilla than chocolate. You could have said less kids chose chocolate than vanilla. You could say two more chose vanilla than chocolate. You could say 12 kids chose vanilla. You could say 10 kids chose chocolate. Could you say I like chocolate? No. Even though you might like chocolate or you might like vanilla, that is not telling me anything about this graph. So your sentence needs to be about this graph, not what you think, okay? All right, hopefully mom or dad has checked this for you or you can have them go check it later. Let's move down to the bottom. I'm gonna slide the post up. Okay, you need a red and a blue. All right. Let's count how many circles we have. Count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 
All right, so we have eight circles again. I'm gonna pretend they're M&Ms because those are yummy. All right, let's get out our red and underline the word red. Let's color five M&Ms. So just pick any five to color red. See if you can stay inside the lines and color the whole circle. No white spots. Don't be lazy colors. If you're not picking the same five as me, that's fine. Just make sure you go back and count and make sure you did five. need to get your eraser and clean it up some, go ahead. All right, put away your red, got your blue. Let's underline the word blue. Color three circles blue. All right, well, you should only have three left. So color those last three blue, whichever three you have left. Oh, I feel my hand muscles getting stronger. Hopefully yours are too. When your hand is feeling tired, that means you're working those muscles and they're gonna get stronger. Okay, so let's see what they're asking us. Okay. Blank out of blank circles are red. All right, well, how many red circles did we have? Five. And how many circles were there all together? Remember, two, four, six, eight circles. So five out of eight circles are red. We could also write that as the fraction five eighths. What would be the fraction if we wanted to figure out how many out of eight were blue? Yeah, you can write it over here. Three eighths are blue. All right, pay close attention today. This one is minus, this is plus, and this is minus. So remember when we're subtracting 10 on our number chart, we would go to 62 and go up a row to subtract. When we're adding, we go down a row. We're counting by tens forward for plus, back for minus. And remember, if you need to, you can always go back and write the problem like this and do one side then the other. Pause the video while you figure out these three problems and then come back and check your answers. All right, so 62, say it with me, 62, 52, 14, 24, 29, 19. That was a challenging one. All right, great job, guys. If you found these minus ones a little challenging, try doing some more on the back. All right, don't forget to have mom and dad check your sentences and correct them. Also today for math, pick one of the sides of 123 and do your subtraction problems. I'll see you tomorrow.